go. Uh, okay, hello. I'm Sophia, you know, Adriano's daughter. Um, I'm actually gonna tell you guys a little story about me and my life and because I had to give this big speech in my language arts class and it was very um it had a well let's just say it was very personal to me but I felt comfortable with getting it out there so I'm gonna tell um, you the story of what's it like to to see what I see to be who I am today to what's it like to be um, an Asperger child. So my story begins with um, when, um, like, when I was about eleven or twelve years old. old. I'm fourteen currently. Well, you all know my quinceanera is coming up. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I was eleven and twelve about that time, like between 2012 or 2013. Um, me and my mom were in the car together um, that day. It was a uh, afternoon. Um, we were at a light right now, and um, once the light um, turned red, my mom turns to me as she was going to say something. So I turned to her as well, and then my whole world came like in a blink of a, in a blink of an eye, just flashed before my eyes. Um, when she said the words that I was diagnosed with Asperger autism and for um, For like about like two minutes. I was like I Was freaking out. I didn't know what to do. I was in complete shock My mom said I had it at birth and she never told me then and waited till I matured enough to handle the truth at that moment I was scared, worried, possibly most of the things that are bad in life. I thought that I was defective, I was wrong in the world, that I had no I had no spot in the world and I was crazy. Until my mom tells me that I'm not wrong, I'm not defective in any way, shape or form. I am beautiful just the way I am. I have meaning in this world. Pe I am unique. I'm special. Uh, sorry, it's emotional. Uh, I just have a special world that I only can see through my little eyes. People can don't have the brain that I have. I function differently, and that's and it's a good different. I. I see what people cannot see. I have a different perspective of the world that people don't really see at all. And I was like crying and I was like, oh my God. And I was in complete worry. Like I didn't know what to do at that time. And my mom completely helped me out by saying those exact words to me. And till this day, I still see the world as a different perspective. And it's a good perspective. At least I'm unique from everyone else and I don't see the same way that people do. And I'm proud of that because that's me. And I like being outgoing and, and I like being you know, different from other people. And for most, of you, for most of you people who don't know who Asperger autism is and what it is, Asperger uh, syndrome, uh, whatever, whatever it is, is a high functioning autism. It's nothing major. It's it's something minor that I have like a different way of learning. Like for example, um, the kids in my class that don't have Asperger's syndrome um, they learn um, the same way that the other kids learn but I learn but I learn very differently like like in typing class um, they type like this and I type like this very fast because 
I don't really like typing like that. And that's how usually people type, but I like typing this way and that's how I that's how I type my essays and everything. So that's an example. And also um I see like like the world from a different perspective. I see it as beauty. I see it as um I see it I see it a little bit realistic, but I keep it to my imagination, and I just see it as a beautiful world, colorful, and just amazing. I see it, I see like animation, I see it like as, as what I do, drawing, painting, and I see it as animation, just like, um, like fam famous Disney movies and other famous animation films but I, I, Asperger's syndrome has been a part of my life and has always been a part of my life and, um, and I'm proud that I have this unique little trait of me because without it I want to be who I am today and I'm just proud and for for all of the Asperger syndrome people who are out there today, you are beautiful. You are special. You are anything in this world. Don't even, don't call yourself defective. Don't call yourself wrong. You have a purpose in life. You will get through it. Don't worry. You are unique. Be proud. You are, you are, you are nothing like other people. So, uh, are there any questions? <laughs> are they? Let me see. No, no, any questions? I mean, nobody has a question. Oh, wait. Oh, I thought this was live. Yes, it is. Oh, okay. Um, so, anyway, yeah. <laughs> That's mostly my story and how I see the world and how I, and how I am today. And, yeah. <laughs> uh... Though these are a shout out to um to the people with Asperger's who feel like they don't they don't belong in this world. Trust me, I thought that I didn't belong, but things got better and things will get better for you too. So thank you for listening. Anna says you're amazing, Sophia. Oh my god. And know. Jessica, Cookie Monster's mom, says oh. way to go, Sophie. Okay. Well...